there we go. We have made it past the Buffalo Roadblock and have met up with our journey of giraffe that are slowly but surely making their way into the croton thicket surrounding a little stream but enjoying breakfast while they do. I have to tell you a story but it's going to make me sound completely ridiculous but I don't quite know how to explain it to you. I didn't realize but I've forgotten how tall giraffe actually are. Now that sounds really stupid when I say it like that because I spend all day every day with them but generally speaking we don't get that close to them. Um, and the last time I've really been up close to a giraffe was when they were being moved from one reserve to another. And so we were capturing them, darting them, sedating them, and then moving them away. Just to repopulate certain reserves with other giraffe species. Well, not with other giraffe species, but just to repopulate them with giraffe. And that then, when I was up close and touching them, then I was aware of how tall they were. But since then, and that was years ago, that was probably around about eight or so years ago, since then, I haven't really been right up close to a giraffe. And the other day, two days ago now, but my sense of time has slowly but surely become completely non-existent. The other day we were driving, the vehicle was playing up. It was when we first started to have problems with Pucker. And we came round the corner and we encountered a bull giraffe standing right in front of us. But, I mean, right on top of the vehicle. So much so that a thought went through my head that if he wanted to kick the vehicle, he could. And I could not believe how tall they really are. I know that really sounds, it sounds silly, but you lose perspective. And I think that, especially for you guys watching through the eyes of the cameraman, you don't really get a sense of scale. But he was standing right up next to us and he was towering. And Pucker is not, I mean, you can ask Dave, Pucker's roof is not short. It's probably about, how tall is that roof? Five meters at least five meters above the ground and he was towering above us looking right up his neck and up towards his nostrils it was really quite a a healthy reminder of just how big they really are and such peaceful creatures dear watcher no the giraffe do not migrate look they might move a little bit depending upon where there's been more rain they might move around the rivers when there's been less rain, for example, where the food is more likely to be green. But no, they don't follow the same migration. And in fact, goodness, Dave, can you imagine if they did? Imagine what it would look, what a sight it would be with a five meter or even six meter giraffe jumping off those massive banks into the water and then trying to escape the crocodiles. What a thought. They don't migrate, but now I'm imagining it. Imagine these massive herds of, of giraffes streaming across the plains and then across into the river. Crocodiles wouldn't know what to do with themselves. The tourists wouldn't know what to do with themselves. They, their cameras would be in hyperdrive. No, they do not migrate. They don't need to. They stick around the areas that they're in. They don't have territories, so it's not as though they are territorial. And the only time that giraffe really fight with each other is over a female that's in estrus. But otherwise, they're pretty placid creatures. Without any real set herd structure. Ha! Huh. Well, we were talking about this earlier today, about the fact that a banded mongoose would be a good snack for a martial eagle. Well, it seems as though Byron has actually found one. 